Hey guys, 大家好 welcome back to AB Chinese. And today I am super excited to be working with the same company that brought you Super Chinese is now bringing you Super Test. Now you might know this app as HSK Online. That's what they were called before, but they did a little rebranding, remodeling around the house, and now they're called Super Test. Keeps them more in line with their other products. And this is an app that focuses exclusively on helping you to pass the HSK test in the most efficient way possible. And by the way, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, HSK stands for Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi, and it's a standardized testing for those people who are learning Chinese as a second language. But of course, even if you aren't planning on taking the test, you could still use this app just as a learning tool. I've also worked with the company behind this app to bring you guys a nice 20% discount, but I think you guys should watch this video first to see if it's the right app for you. And also stick around to the end of the video to see an update on Super Chinese, which I tried out last fall. And also, I have a discount for that app as well. Let's get started. This is the homepage of the app, and we're going to get started with HSK4, which is a pretty intermediate level. So, Unit One, Lesson One, and we can get started with the vocabulary lesson. Okay, 交流 communicate, interact, exchange. 如果有机会出国，一定要和当地的人多交流。交流，交流，呃， communicate, interact, exchange. 印象，印象。The instructions are in Chinese, so you'll have to be able to read that to know what to do. 看单词选翻译，印象。熟悉。我们昨天刚认识，还不熟悉。I'm noticing that their definitions are pretty simplistic. For example, bian could be a bit more complex of an explanation since it is a measure word and it could be also even a grammar point, but it just says number of times. 邀请，缺少，变。So we're halfway through this vocabulary lesson, and something I am noticing is that they just show you the word. If you click on the explanation, they give you very, very short definitions on it. They tell you it's parts of speech. They give you two examples at most, but something that's lacking in the examples is the individual definitions of each of the words. Because if I'm reading this, I may not know some of the words in the examples, and if I click on it, it just gives me the option of copying it. But unlike some other apps, where if you click on the words, it'll show you the definition in a pop-up. Now let's move on to grammar. Wow, they they show you a grammar in Chinese. If you can read that, 尽管常与但是、可是等词语，尽管 is often used with 但是 or 可是 to form the structure. 尽管 plus a, but the result b doesn't normally happen after fact a. I like that explanation. It's very concise and it gets to the point. 你们的压力很嗯。第一个空格中可以与但是 Wow, so they do. Okay, this analysis is really nice. It tells you exactly why C is the correct answer, and it does so in Chinese and it's Google translated to English. The only thing that can be used with but in the first space is despite. Stress can only say large, small, not high, low. So the correct answer is, albeit large. Google Translate still needs a little bit of work. It's almost there. 虽然减肥是一件很难的事情。这家饭店的客人仍然那么多。So I'm wondering if their analysis in Chinese is a hindrance to learning or if it promotes learning. Because on one hand, it being in Chinese helps you to think in Chinese. But if you're at HSK four, those of you who are at HSK four, can you please let me know in the comments? Are you able to read this, or is this above your level? Uh, 今天见面。可是他却没有来，因此我对他非常失望。我去过一次北京，却仍然这么瘦。I do feel like they are also teaching a bit of test taking skills in the analysis sections because here, like the first thing they tell you is like he means uncle, or they should say he refers to uncle. So therefore, the pronoun has to happen after the noun. So that section B has to go at the end. And now it's time for special training listening. 很安静。Okay, that is true. <laughs> yeah, take a look at this, guys. They are definitely teaching you test-taking skills, like listening for key words. You know, if you hear the 安静 then it's probably 
a quiet. Yeah, he lives in a quiet place. We Answering the question before you even hear the whole question. And the analysis basically just explained what I did, which is once they said if four fifths of women are already considered losing weight, then yeah, most of them want to lose weight. You don't need to listen to the rest of it. Let's see how fast I can answer these questions before like the question even ends. Yeah, that one was easy. He said it right in the first sentence. <laughs> he said the weather's not bad. I'm be like, okay, that equals Liang Kuai. Liang Kuai is not bad. Now the very last section, the drill. Now let's go look for something else to do. So on their menu tab on top, they have past exams. And these are actually like past HSK4 exams. And of course they have all the other levels as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. To the right, they have mock exams as well. I guess these are not real tests, but ones that are set up to be similar to the real test. And then we have vocabulary training. Bu wei. Bu wei. Han deng. So this was their use in official tests. And I wish they highlighted it. I don't know where it is. Oh, 才能攀登美好的明天, right here in this section. If I click this button, what does that do? Oh, handwriting. Let's give that a try. All right, this is good function. It's pretty on par with other apps, I would say. Dive should be 潜水. The practice is very basic, I've noticed. They only ask, there were 12 vocabulary words and they only asked 12 questions, so one to cover each. Okay, let's go to listening. Exam guide. So in the easier lessons, they do have all the explanations in English, thankfully, because I was like, there's no way that, you know, the lower lessons are gonna be reading that in Chinese. So let's take a look at this part. There are 10 questions to this part. You can listen to each sentence twice and then select right or wrong based on the picture provided. To perform well in this section, you should be familiar with uh, the vocabulary as well as their classifications such as time words, position words, quantifiers. While the recording is playing, listen for those key words. When making a decision, consider both information given in the picture as well as the situation. Yeah, obviously they are giving you a lot of test taking tips here. And you know, if you're not going for the HSK, this will be less valuable to you. But if you are taking the HSK test, test taking tips is very valuable. I actually took the uh, the placement test in this app. Let me show you where that is actually. There is a placement test somewhere. Okay, so right here under me, you go to my Chinese level and you can take a placement test. I did this before I started this app. Like I, should, I should have recorded it actually because I kind of struggled. There was a section where they gave you a listening question that was like three minutes long, okay? I sat there listening for two audio that was three minutes long. And by the time I went to answer the questions, I couldn't even remember what they talked about. Yeah, so like part of it is knowing the content, but sometimes you do need some test taking skills because that was a little frustrating though. Like, how do you straight pink culture, not ji yi straight pink culture, okay? Uh, wait, where were we? Well, I'm not gonna read through every single one of these exam guides, but from what I have read, it is very good and solid test taking skills. I mean, I was a pretty good test taker actually back in the day when I was a student. Sometimes you can deduce the answers. <laughs> without knowing the material 100%. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's true. Okay, what is smart quiz? Let's try that. Is this just the test? Uh, so they are asking the question here in Chinese, and this is supposed to be HSK2? Uh, maybe you can guess what you're supposed to do. Okay, so let's hear the question. I, the dad wants to sleep more, so it's a. Okay, so he said he's gonna look at his watch, so it's gonna be D. Let's also try section three short dialogue questions. So she's too tired from work. So likely A. I'm just gonna guess A. Yeah, it's A. What are you busy with? You didn't come to play basketball? Probably. Ah, oh, darn it. 
交朋友，你是否有很多问号？ Okay, I jumped the gun on that one and 准备考试。I thought I had it without listening to the whole question. Sometimes you pay the price. 你在找什么呢？ What are you looking for? 我的汉语书找不到了。Looking for my text, my Chinese textbook. You, they're looking for stuff, and you see that the responses are all locations. So they're gonna ask, "Where are they?" They're in a classroom. Test taking skills. I can teach you some too. So now let's check out the reading tab. I actually just did this, but it didn't record. So I'm gonna show you guys again. This is why you know I've already done this. But smart quiz. Nobody knows the result until the end. We're all full. Take a doggy bag. Human beings say today work hard, tomorrow work hard. This sentence means you have to work hard. So you should work hard. Saying you should work hard, otherwise tomorrow you will work hard to find work. You'll be unemployed. So that's reading. Now let's take a look at writing. So here you are typing in the correct character based on the pinyin. Dong Tian. So this is winter, and we're looking for. Oh, I typed it wrong. Hold on, I can't type. That one.、Uh, now, arrange word order is where you just take a selected few words and phrases and arrange them into the right order.、Uh, so, he 一下午，他他做了一下午，他做了一下午 ，sat for a whole afternoon. This guy. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the gist of this app. So here are my overall thoughts on SuperTest. I think it's a wonderful app for HSK test takers who just want to spend as little time as possible and learn all of the test materials efficiently. However, it really is clearly catered towards HSK test takers, and for that reason, there are some things that make it maybe not the most exciting app for your average learner. So if you're just learning Chinese for fun, then maybe an app like their sister app, Super Chinese, might be a better choice for you. And、uh, let's go through some of the finer points, and you'll probably understand why. So when they introduce new vocabulary, I found their definitions to be a little bit too simple for me. When you learn a new、uh, Chinese character or a Chinese word, it's really a bad habit to think of it as exactly the same as an English word because it's usually never a direct translation. You always want to have like a range of words that you can correspond to that word or character, because in reality, it's probably a mix of all of those words. Something that I personally also really like to learn is how Chinese characters break down, or like the etymology of a Chinese word, which is something else that was missing from this app. They don't even show you really basic information like what radical is in a certain character. But again, if you think of this from the lens of this is meant for HSK test takers, then it really does make sense because you don't need to know that stuff for HSK tests. Another thing you'll notice about this app is that throughout there's a heavy emphasis on being able to read Chinese characters. There's not a lot of Pinyin. There's not a lot of English. Even their grammar analysis are in Chinese, and they're Google translated into English. So this means that if you're not at that level, then you might not be able to read、um, the Chinese. So that might slow down your learning, or it, you can see it as a challenge and something that's inspiring. So this could be a pro or a con, honestly. But a function that was missing in this app that I really like in other apps. Is pop-up definitions. So when you have an example sentence, the ability to click on a character that's not the keyword, and have a definition pop up. I think that's really useful. I will also point out that there's no speaking or pronunciation in this app. So if that is something you're looking for, then look elsewhere. But now let's talk about what this app does really well, and there's a lot of them. The first thing I really really loved was in the grammar section. Not only do they explain the grammar quite well and in a concise manner, but when you go to answer the questions, they give you an analysis of why your answer is correct or if it's incorrect. And this is really good because instead of having a lengthy grammar lesson, which nobody likes to read, they have a short grammar lesson. And then what they do is they allow you to learn by making mistakes. When you go to making mistakes, then you read why you made that mistake and why it's not right. And from there, you can grow and you can learn. And this is something that I feel like is a little bit underrated. Think of maybe the last time a teacher called on you, perhaps in a classroom setting, and you answered incorrectly, like that embarrassment you must have felt. But then you know what happens? You're probably not going to answer that question incorrectly again, and that piece of information is probably going to be stuck in your brain for a long time. And that's the power of learning by mistakes. I do wish that the analysis were written in English, so it makes the learning a bit more accessible. But I do know the developers are based in China, so 
maybe it was easier for them to just write in Chinese and have Google translate to English, which it does an almost, almost good job of. The second thing they do really well here is their test taking tips, which again is heavily catered towards the whole goal of this app, which is so you can pass the HSK. I said in the review and I'll say it again, test taking tips are important because sometimes you can be in a situation where you don't know all the material, but if you have good test taking tips, you can still pass. Or you can be in situations where you do know all the materials, but you don't know how to take a test and you can still fumble. SuperTest provides an analysis of every single portion of the HSK exams and tells you exactly how to go about answering those questions and the best practices so you can answer those questions more effectively and get more answers right. And finally, all in all, I find this app to be a lot more extensive than some of the other apps I've tried out. The questions are a lot more challenging. And of course I know that they're all based on HSK, but that means that those questions are more challenging than what other apps provide. A lot of other apps ask you questions where the question and answer have a very direct correlation. Like here is green in Chinese. What does this word mean? Green. Whereas a lot of these HSK questions are more indirect in what they're asking. For example, maybe they'll have a passage where they talk about um, a girl is calling for a taxi after she just arrived in America. Where is this girl likely at? Da, 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 da. The airport. So I think questions like that forces you to think a lot more in your target language, Chinese, as opposed to just guessing the answer. And as anyone who's tried Duolingo knows, if the question is a very simple question, oftentimes you can guess the answers because you know the other options are really dumb or completely irrelevant to the question. So if you are planning on taking the HSK test, or you just like what you saw today, between now and the end of February, SuperTest is offering you guys 20% off their annual subscription with my referral code, ABChinese, and also this QR code, you'll need it, so screenshot it. And here's how you can get it. Go to the bottom right corner of the SuperTest app and click on the Me tab. And now go to the top left and click on the Scan icon. From here, you can either scan the code or upload it from your photo album. Once you're on this page, the code will work for either 12 month subscription or the lifetime subscription. So click on buy now and then just enter your promo code, which is going to be AB Chinese, and you should see a 20% discount. But wait, there's more. If you are a casual learner and answering every single test question is not that important to you, then I highly recommend Super Chinese, which is their sister app, and they are also offering you guys an amazing promotion right now. I tried this app out last fall. Here's my review of it if you want to watch it. It's a fantastic app with really good dialogues and stories that help you stay motivated and engaged when you're learning Chinese. So between now and the end of February, Super Chinese is also offering you guys 20% off of their annual subscriptions and the process is basically the same. You'll need this QR code and then either screenshot it and upload it or scan it within the app and then enter the code ABChinese and you'll get your 20% discount. Before we finish up today, there is something I want to share with you guys and it's one of the reasons why I'm so happy to be working with Super Chinese and Super Test because this company is a company that actually listens. When I made a video on Super Chinese last fall, I praised it as being a very well-rounded and overall good app, but there were a few things I pointed out that I didn't like maybe as much, and they actually told me that they went ahead and optimized those things. So why don't you guys go ahead and check out Super Chinese and let me know if they did a good job or not. But honestly guys, it really is amazing when a company actually listens, but the person they should be listening to is not me, it's you guys. So if you guys have any feedback or suggestions that could make Super Test or Super Chinese even better, then I highly recommend you guys either leave them in the comments of this video or directly give your feedback to Super Chinese and Super Test and let them know because they will listen to you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. It's also the start of a new year, so I, I wanna wish you guys good luck and I hope that you achieve all of your language learning goals this year. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.